Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Don, and man, I have run into my good friend and partner in crime, E minus. So, Eric, yeah. super happy that we could spend some time at CES together. Yeah. So you at least you know, a limited amount. A very limited amount. We are in the last couple of hours of the last day of the show, and you know, I've been really busy trying to help the guys with Climax, and you know, Eric has found a couple of gems, so he's going to take me around the show floor and show me a couple of things. Let's go. Okay, so where are we going? Uh, let's go to Rebuff Reality first. This is the first right. thing I did here. All right. So, so right. Rebuff Reality. Right. Got to get in to see those guys. Right there, in real. Oh, yeah, we'll get there, too. Yeah, all right. Let's go there first. All right. So I want you to realize product you're about to try okay. is kind of the first gen All right. this AR thing. So don't think like it's going to be the most groundbreaking thing on earth. You know, and I do, I find AR to be in the DK1 stage it at is. this point. So, But I, I seriously believe that this product in particular and the things that come from it, because it's really going to be the first glasses-based form factor coming to the market for consumers with AR functionality. Okay. Uh, at least with good AR functionality. Okay. Right on. Um, Looking forward to it. it could lead to a cell phone replacement. Right on. Sometime. I am here with Ben, and you are with InReal, and we are about to get a look at the InReal light. So, you know, these guys contacted me about seven months ago about doing some promotion with them, and I've been chomping at the bit to get a look at these glasses ever since. So these are the glasses right here. You can see very, very good form factor. Uh, very, very much like typical sunglasses. And they, you know, they're smaller than I thought they would be from the pictures, guys. These are these are incredible. So, all right, what kind of what kind of field of view are we going to be looking at here? So we're looking at a two, 52 degree field of view with a 1080p. Okay. HD resolution. Okay, so 1080p, 52 yeah. degrees. Yes. Okay. All right. And and are we doing are we doing just standard projection? Are we doing light field? We're, we're doing or? a micro OLED holographic projection display. Okay, micro OLED. Okay, yes. so very cool. And the only way 88 grams. Okay, 88 grams. Awesome. Yes. All right. Well, let's go ahead and uh, flip around here and get a look. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and check out the in real light here. And all right, well there we have it. Okay, so right now, guys, I am seeing a uh, a, a projection in front of my face. I can still kind of see my camera behind it, but you know, I'll tell you what, it's actually pretty clear and bright. Uh, a lot clearer and a lot brighter than I thought it was going to be here. Um, and man, it's kind of interesting to see that projection just flying out there and hanging in midair. Uh, the 3D looks good. Um, seeing a little inclusion in it, but not much. Uh, but man, not bad at all. So, cool demo loop. Now I'm kind of flying through a tunnel. I just got out of the Milky Way there. Very, very cool. Okay, and so they actually have a bunch of different color choices available. So, you know, one of the things that's always held back augmented reality and virtual reality is people think it looks bulky and kind of dorky. You know, these guys, I'm going to tell you right now, these look like sunglasses that you would actually want to wear in public. I want to be seen in these, you know? Uh, I, I, I want people to to start to get used to seeing this technology in the market. Man, you got the cat glasses there. Right on. All right. Okay, so we're about to go in the game room, but it looks like we got some options here. So you say we want to talk about options, and you are Morgan. All right, Morgan. Hey, Don, VR gamer dude here. So tell me about these options. What are we looking at? So if anybody has any prescription glasses at all, we make oh, and I do. I'm wearing my contacts today. Oh, there you so. Go. so hopefully your contacts will work while you're playing now. But if anyone has glasses and they want to play, we have an easy, really easy solution. You can just buy a magnet. Snap them on. Oh, very cool. Love that design. Yes, yeah, so they'll go anywhere from one to eight, and we also have half sizes as well. We even have adjustable nose pieces. You can see, and they all come out very easy, 
imagine. All right, so if I've got the big schnoz there, you got me covered. Yeah, exactly. We got something for everyone. You just clip it in and you're ready to go. So it's all magnetic. Oh, man, yes. really love that. Love that design choice there. Right, makes it super easy. All right. Get it in there, ready to go. Very, very cool. Yeah. And you, you, you look so styling with the glasses on. Right, ready to go. They're very convenient, light. They're only 88 grams. I, I gotta say, I'm very I'm very happy with the form factor. I was telling your compartment here, when I saw them for the first couple of times online, I've been talking to you guys for like seven months now. Yeah. I, I thought they were gonna be bigger. They, uh, they, the right. pictures make them look bigger than they actually are. Yeah. Those are really, really well designed. Super. So. All right, cool. Like anywhere you go. I like it. I like it. All right, so what game are we playing in here? So we have three different games that we offer today. We're playing the zombie bomber game. Nice. Super fun experience where wherever you're looking, all of a sudden zombies are going to start popping up at you. Okay. So you use your phone as a controller and just swipe up, and then you'll be able to aim the bombs at the zombies and attack them from wherever they're coming. On nice. The ground. Nice. Okay. Ready to awesome. check this out. Yeah, let's go in and let's uh, let's uh, fight some zombies here, guys. Come on in. Hi. All right. Hi. How's it going? So here we are in the game space. Um, very cool. Love the artwork on the walls here. That is excellent. And looks like uh, my booth handler, Jovita. Yeah. You're gonna go ahead and put me through the demo here. I'm gonna have you try these on to see right. how they fit. I think awesome. I think I saw her explaining how all of our nose stuff works. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and try these on, and uh, yeah, so let's see here. They should fit nice and secure on your nose. Yeah, they do, actually. All right, perfect. All right, and so I'm gonna move over here. Okay. And I'm gonna, um, here, I'll go ahead and let you plug this in since I'm recording. Okay, and I'm assuming just standard. Okay, so right here we're just going to use a standard cell phone. We're going to use a standard USB-C cord and plug right into the bottom of the phone. So there we go. Okay, All so right. I'm and then I'm going to grab it for you just to make sure everything's connected correctly. Okay, and I am seeing part of that cell phone screen. Okay, perfect. Yeah, it'll it'll so merge. It's supposed to, it is yeah, merge. it's going to merge. I'm going to um, have you take them off just for a quick second so okay. we can make sure it's calibrated with your eye length. Okay. And then now you can go ahead and put them on. Okay, so then we're gonna keep staring straight over here at this wall, make sure everything's lined up. Does it look? Yeah. All okay, right, perfect. Okay, very cool. So, all right, guys. So now I'm in the game space here. And this and is now your controller. And then you're gonna. You, it's easier to use two hands. You're gonna have to kill a lot of zombies. So go ahead and swipe okay, and hit gotcha. this guy. And it's gonna be like a. There you go. I perfect. Gotcha. Okay. Um, it's gonna be with the actual finger, the swiping motion. Okay. And then they're gonna be so, left, right, right and, and even on the ground. So make sure you're checking all of your. You, oh, I see them. Oh, you. they're already coming at me. Okay, <laughs> I'm already going here, guys. I'm like, 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 I'm throwing bombs at zombies here. So, all right, very cool, interesting. So, this is actually the very first time I have ever experienced augmented reality, and it's asking me if I want to exit. Uh, okay, yeah, app, let's just, you know? make, yeah, let's just, just make sure you do it. Sorry, right, I'm there, there, I'm sorry. Oh, you're good. So, so, you know, I've never tried augmented reality before. You guys know I'm VR gamer dude. I've right, awesome. always been into virtual reality. But I'm really starting to get interested in this technology, and I'll tell you why. Because I'm seeing these 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 guys right here behind me. I, I'm seeing the wall. I'm seeing the world. I'm not so distracted and cut off. Uh, so, all right, some technicals. Field of view actually looks pretty decent from what I have heard. This is one of the wider field of views out there yeah. in an augmented reality device. And I think you said field of view is... Oh, 52 degrees. 52 degrees, okay. And so, you know, obviously, yeah, there is a little bit of a viewport, so if I look up a little bit too far, look down a little too far, I am kind of losing that world. But you know what? Man, we waited, for, what, four or five years on the Oculus for DK1, the CV1, so I consider this to be DK1.5 days for AR here. 
All right, there we go. I just took out a boss. Yeah, big boss. I'm your daddy. I got you. All right, so. Let's see what your score is. There you go. Let's see how I did here. A. I ranked A. That's <laughs> right. Go. That's right. VR Gamer Dude. I'm about to become <laughs> AR Gamer Dude up in here. So, all right, man. I got to tell you, very cool as I throw some fish here and some pineapples and some bombs at my A rank. But clear. It looks clear. It looks good. Um, obviously, you know, it, it could probably be a little tighter because I do get a little shape. But overall, I'm pretty happy with what I'm seeing here in an early version of the Unreal Life. So, you know guys, right now they are in a developer kit stage, but they are selling the developer kits. I am going to throw a link for all of that down in the description. So if you are a developer, jump on board with these guys, man. Let's get AR out there. Like they say in their, in their tweets, hashtag be bold, right? Be bold. Let's, let's, let's make AR become just as big as VR. All right, guys, there you have it. That is In Real Light Developer Kit. And I gotta tell you, I'm pretty happy with what I just saw. So eventually they are gonna be sending me a developer <laughs> kit to play around with on the channel. And we're gonna get a lot more in depth with that. So stay tuned. Yeah. are making accessories. Okay. You've got your standard vibe tracker Wait, are, these, are they the ones with the light up thing for the quest that goes on the back and yeah. waits it? Okay, yeah. I, I actually talked to him very briefly as I walked by on a live stream yesterday. But that's not the good thing. That's a great thing. Okay, and I need to come back and talk to Jennifer at V-Haptics that's too. A, that's a great thing. Yes. Uh, yes. Ears. No. I yes. I talked to this guy yesterday on my stream. Okay. So. Cool. Hey man, just came back to see you again. Yeah. So. Doing a little bit less live stream, more just straight video today. And Eric was Eric, my friend uh, Eric said I'm that. I'm trying uh, to get everybody to come try the great things. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. man. Appreciate it. So tell me, guys, what do you have? What 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 is what's going on? This is like the coolest looking class. Heck yeah, so for three or four years, Rebuff Reality has been making premium accessories for VR. What we started out with was the track strap for the HTC Vive to track your avatar and things like VR chat. Nice. But when, obviously with the success of Zuckerberg's brainchild here, it's amazing. <laughs> it's phenomenal. It's amazing except for one thing, right? Yeah, except for what? Except for what? what? Is that? The audio. So, as you can see here, we have designed our own off-ear headphone speaker system and so we call it the VR ears and what it does is essentially it lets you be fully immersed in your experience finally because unfortunately even though the oculus quest is a great product we love it uh, it really doesn't have the best audio and that's half the battle when it comes to immersion right yeah half the image is sound if you don't have good sound you're not immersed in the slightest it doesn't matter how good the graphics are, if it doesn't sound like you're inside of this reality, you won't be. And what's really cool about these is the fact that they're off here allows the oscillating sound waves to conform with the shape of your skull, giving you a full 3D immersive sound environment. There's just nothing like it right now. It's a, you, you know, we can't quite say it's noise canceling, but when you're having these on, people outside can't hear what you're doing and you can't hear what they're doing outside. Nice. There's no noise though. It's, it's pretty beautiful. Yeah, it's phenomenal. The response here at CES has been nothing short of magical. So what? So what, I noticed we've also got a shell, and we've got something on the back of a headset. So tell me a little bit about what we got going on here. Right, right, right. So the shell is an interesting little story. We made it to protect, you know, we made it to protect the front of the of the device. However, we realized this is actually great for making sure that the fabric on the Oculus doesn't get dirty. Now, if you're eating pizza and you put and you grease it up, well, there goes your resell value if you ever plan to resell it later, right? So the, the case is awesome. It was more for sex appeal as well, but it is just a great way to protect your device. I love the gloss look that it actually adds to the Quest. It almost makes the Quest look a little more premium. Exactly, a little, a little more premium. That's what we're going for. So on the back of what we got here is we press this button, and this will show you that we have a battery, essentially a battery charger for the Oculus Quest. We call it the VR Power. And so the VR Power has two slots where you can charge out accessories. So we charge the entire headset and the VR ears with our own 
premium very battery nice. pack. Very nice. And a lot of people are actually buying this thing, not just for the power, but because it counterbalances your Oculus. I was going to say, so it acts as a weight, uh, a counterweight as exactly. well. So what, what kind of milliamp hours are we looking at on the battery there? Joe, let's bring in Joe for the, the technicals. Uh, no, I have hours on the 10, battery. 10,000. 10,000. Okay. Right. So usually they cost you about two to three hours. With the VR power, you get about eight to nine hours. Eight to nine hours total. total. Yeah. Okay, so really can get out there and get immersed without losing battery power. And hey, if you run out of battery with one, you can just quick hot swap out another one. So it's beautiful. Yeah. So it looks like it goes on like a strap in here. Exactly. Very, very simple strap mount mechanism. Just three little Velcro pieces. Super simple. A child could do it. No problem. All right. So, all right. Right off the bat, I can definitely tell you the counterweight makes a big difference. I, I don't feel the the I don't feel the weight of pushing against my cheek so much. And the audio is good. The audio sounds really nice. Now, obviously, this is going to sound a lot better when I'm not on a trade show floor. But it is cutting out all of what I'm hearing outside of the audio field. So that's fantastic. I'm going to unplug the ears for you now. All right. Wow. Okay, so that is an amazing difference. So I'm assuming I'm on just the stock Quest audio at this point. That's right. I'm going to plug you back in here. Okay. Oh, yeah. Whole sound field just completely changed, folks. Completely audio different. Off here, surround sound headphones. We lead to play. Sync into it. <laughs> Smart idea. 
songs. Like if, if it was like okay. one of the original okay. songs. <laughs> I wasn't. Uh, that was good, man. Okay, so you know, I gotta say a couple of things. The the headphones are legit. The, these things made the sound so much better in the quest. And still retain that off here, so I can kind of still hear what was going on if I wanted to in the background, but now I can totally close it off. The counterbalance really made a difference. I mean, the first time I played Pistol Whip in a long time where I didn't feel so much pressure on my face. All right, guys, so rebuff reality, man. Some of the cooler accessories for the Oculus Quest that I've seen on the show floor yet. So, Lance, John, thank you very much, guys. Hey, appreciate it. Look for the Kickstarter on rebuffreality.com or look us up on Facebook. Yeah, cheers.